Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. Um, in this video, I just wanted to go through my process of uh, of how I upload or how I create and add content to my um, content sites. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on this is Prince Edward Island. This is PI.ca. It's my case study site for this post or for this video and this series. It's a brand new site. We've got absolutely no content on it. Uh, apart from the home page and maybe like an about page or something. Yeah, the about page, which is completely empty But right now in the past video, I showed you how I do research and how to find keyword topics And we do have a list of keyword topics here so in this video, I just wanted to uh, Show you guys how I put together this uh, How I create content for these sites how I get it ranked and just kind of walk through my uh, my just the process here. So just working through the uh, working through the list of topics that I have gotten from the previous video, and I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, the main topic here: things to do in Prince Edward Island. So I have a few prompts I like to use. Some pretty basic prompts. Um, sorry if it's quite loud. I can hear a truck outside. Actually, let me just shut the window. Okay, I've gone ahead and shut the window. So I have a few prompts that I use. Um, this is one of them here. And it's pretty simple. So I've got the topic, I'm just going to chat GPT. Right, I post that in there. And I also like to go through some competitor sites. So what was the keyword that we used? Things to do in Prince Edward Island. I like to go to Google, search things to do in Prince Edward Island. And see what's ranking. So I can almost tell right away uh, what kind of competitor sites I'd be looking at. TripAdvisor doesn't matter to me. Uh, as you can see, I've been to these two already in the Tourism PI site. So let's just pull up Travel Lemming. Is it Travel Lemming? Yeah. So he's got a bunch of, uh, of basically things to do here. And what I like to do from this is go see what the headings are, right? Take this list of headings from this tool Go to my, uh, go to ChatGPT. So use the following headings for this post. Add, let's say, five to seven sentences for each heading. Don't add any formatting apart from the title. And then you hit this, and you list the headings, and then boom. And then I don't think that it's going to add an introduction. Is it going to add five to seven for each? Yes. So it's probably going to run out of space at some point. Yeah, it's probably going to run out of space at some point. You're going to have to continue generating. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Actually, while it does happen, uh, we'll get the post going or we'll get the, uh, I have a draft there from, July, but we'll get this going. Actually, I hate this. Uh, I hate the um, the new. I, I like the classic editor better for WordPress, especially when it comes to copy and pasting this content from ChatGPT. So we're just gonna go in here. That's activated. Add new post. It should be maybe done. Yeah. So we have it the first seventeen. So just keep writing, please. So what I'll do here is just copy this, right? Copy this into here. Paste and match style. Add a title, the best 17 plus best things to do in Prince Edward Island. That's the H1. Um, I did click no formatting, but course it has formatted so what I do now is I just go through and again you can um, you can uh, you can have all this outsourced right it's really easy to outsource this and you can just write a process you can write a list of things for someone to do whether it's a writer or somebody else a freelancer that's gonna go through and do this for you but from here I just like to make it seem like it was actually written by somebody Right, so I don't like to, and I think you could probably format the H2s, but then I just like having it like this um, so I can go through and also while I'm formatting it, 
edit it at the same time, right? Because with ChatGPT, a lot of times it just doesn't seem so legitimate and you'll see a lot of things uh, repeated like words like moreover, um, was that added here? No. A lot of times, a lot of things you don't really want to see or that don't seem too legitimate uh, when it comes from the point of view of somebody actually writing a blog post on this topic. Now, a lot of these are kind of short and that's completely fine. So when you're uploading content and you could probably get about 10 posts per hour uh, if you're actually just working through it. When you're uploading content, what you want to do is, especially when I'm uploading AI content, is I don't want to make this post the best possible post. So I just want to get this post up on Google. I want to get it submitted and indexed just to see if it's actually something that Google will rank and what it's ranking for. Once it's ranking, right, like if you submit the post and within one or two weeks, it's in the top 50, for example, for, uh, for things to do in Charlottetown, then I'll go back and then I'll make it significantly better, right? I'll add images, uh, I'll add longer, uh, longer text for each. Like some of them, some of these are only three sentences, right? And it just, there's no point in doing that up front because it just is going to take so much time to make it a perfect post when you just kind of want to see what's going to rank first. And for some of them, you can even just sprinkle some keywords in here that you just know off the top of your head and spring, explore some of the best lighthouses in new in Prince Edward Island. And so from there, I can already assume that there's going to be a, a Prince Edward Island lighthouse posts, uh, probably in that list of topics that we came up with from the last post. Anyways, instead of just going through and editing this on, uh, on video here, um, you can just go through here and it does have the conclusion, right? Uh, and it does have the finished section of this post. So you just go down to the bottom and then you just would paste in that style. Right. And I don't like to have that in conclusion. So making the most of your trip to Prince Edward. From there, right, once you have this done, from there you can go to unsplash.com. You can search for some free image, right? And here we have PEI. You can just choose something completely random. There's Anne of Green Gables. It's a perfect image for uh, the purpose of this post, right? And then I would add that as the, um, as the featured image on WordPress there. Anne of Green Gables uh, Museum. Right, I would add that as the featured image. And then category would just be PEI travel because it is a broad PEI post. And that's it, and then I would post it, right? Let me just check the URL. Uh, we don't have the URL saved yet. And I don't think I have Yoast either. I do have Yoast, so we'll do that, right? You would just want things to do in Prince Edward Island. On the bottom here, you would want to do the 17 plus best things to do on Prince Edward. Edward Island. Boom. This is BI. And you can also use ChatGPT to create meta descriptions for you, right? So I like to go here. Take, okay, sorry about that. Take this prompt. Uh, topic. Okay. For my SEO search snippet description. All right, it's going to give you 118 character description which you can then take and add to the post here. Boom, all right? And then of course you gotta go through and finish formatting it. Otherwise you're done. Now what else I like to do for that search is do things to do in Prince Edward Island. From here, you have these questions, right? People also ask, everybody knows this, whoops. So I don't know if I can, no. So from here, you can some of these you can turn into blog posts, but I just like to take the top four, right? Some of the most popular ones, and for whatever reason, it's not letting me grab that top one. There we go. All right, you copy that. You have another prompt, right, which is here. And then this prompt is answer the following four questions, right, with four sentences each. No Q and A formatting. Keep the questions as headings. Go back to ChatGPT, paste. Right, it's gonna slowly work through the uh, the questions here. Once that's done, you can go back to your post, and I like just to add it right above the conclusion, right? Just FAQ, because then you can get those search snippets, which is really helpful for uh, quick traffic. And you go back to the 
chat GPT here. Right, you just copy and paste this into the into the post. And I like to add these as um, as uh, H3 headings, right? H3, no, that's H4, H3, and H3, all right? I'll, of course, I'll format this once I'm done this video. From here, what I also like to do is go back to ChatGPT and say, provide me with a list of relevant URLs to link to in the post, please. Sometimes it says it can't do it, so now it can. And so now what it's giving you is a list of URLs that you can use, so you can link now, add these external links to everything you mentioned in the post. Now this is fantastic, this is super helpful from an SEO standpoint, it's helpful for the users that are visiting your website. And of course you don't wanna to look to competitors, these are all, listen, these are mostly, um, these are mostly uh, pointing to the Tourism PEI site, which is fine. But Anne of Green Gables Heritage Place, Anne of Green Gables Heritage Place, they might have their own site. And in that case, you want to, it's a provincial, it's, uh, it's uh, Canada Parks. So in that case, you just kind of want to find the URL on your own. You just take that, you go up to here, find that, find out where you can add that link. And then boom, you've got the link, right? You've got the draft. And actually, let me just add the image. Oops. Let me just add this. I just like to resize them so that it's not a huge photo. From there, we can set the featured image as that. Again, at the beginning, I don't like to add too many images because it just takes so long. Um, and there's no point unless it's gonna start ranking. I don't usually add all text either. Um, Google, Google's gonna have a good idea of what the site's about. Uh, did it not save? Why does it show it as 27? Anyways, that's fine for now. Set featured image, publish. This is going to give us this. This is going to give us the page. Let's take a look at the page. Seems fine, right? What's the what's this PI? So now what I do for every single post, um, especially on new sites, is inspect the URL. Because right now it's not indexed, and I just will request indexing. I'll do this for a long time, maybe for the first hundred posts until Google is crawling the website a lot more regularly, and. Once it's indexed, then we're all set. And then I'll check in a day or two to see if it's actually indexed and showing up for any Google search after I go back right now and uh, and format it. So right now I'm gonna see this site with maybe 10 posts. It's probably gonna take me an hour or so. And then I will update you guys in a few days just to see if they're, uh, if they're indexed or not. Um, and just keep seeding posts. I like that maybe 100 posts in the next month or two just to see how things go. Um, yeah, that's how I add content to one of my content sites. This is PI. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.